They're both really easy to make and super tasty, so you can actually focus on the game. You know the drill. Ingredients and measurements are listed below. Enough talking, let's get started. Here are all of the ingredients for our chicken poppers. Jalapenos, some black pepper, salt, garlic powder, half a cup of cheddar cheese, half a cup of feta cheese, four ounces of softened cream cheese, a cup of barbecue sauce, 16 slices of bacon, and eight chicken thighs that have been deboned and skinned. Wash your jalapenos. Slice your jalapenos lengthwise. Remove the stem. Remove the membrane and the seeds. That's what contains a lot of the heat. And I like to use a spoon for this. Give your jalapenos one last rinse. Set aside and move on to the next step. In a mixing bowl, combine all of your cheeses, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a pinch of black pepper, and thoroughly combine. Set aside in the refrigerator. If you have granite countertops, be sure to lay two towels in between your cutting board and your granite. This is to help absorb some of the shock so we don't crack our granite. On top of your cutting board, place a piece of parchment paper. Add your chicken. Place your parchment paper on top. And using the smooth side of your mallet, you're going to pound this until it's a quarter of an inch thick. We're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's the setup. We have our cheese mixture here, our sliced jalapenos, our chicken thighs, salt, pepper, and garlic powder, as well as our bacon. My dad used to like making this dish on the grill. My grill hasn't been cleaned yet, so I'm gonna be using the oven. To do that, I'm going to line a baking sheet with aluminum foil, and I place a cooking rack on top. Any kind of rack that you have that'll help elevate the chicken as it bakes will be helpful, but it's not necessary. I'll leave some other baking instructions in the description box below. Season your chicken with some salt, some pepper, and some garlic powder. Take one of your jalapeno halves, about a tablespoon of the mixture, or however much your little jalapeno can hold. Place your filled jalapeno cheese mixture down onto the chicken and wrap. If it doesn't look perfect, don't worry. The bacon's gonna help everything come together. Take a slice of your bacon and begin wrapping it all up from one end. You want it nice and snug. Once you've wrapped your chicken halfway, get another piece of bacon and start wrapping from the opposite end. And there you have it, your chicken popper. You don't need any toothpicks because as it bakes, the bacon's gonna hold everything together. Place on your baking wrap and continue on. Now we're going to place these in the oven on the middle rack of your preheated 400 degree oven. Rotate your chicken poppers halfway through the cooking process. So after 25 more minutes, you're going to remove them from the oven, reduce your oven heat to 375, and coat them in barbecue sauce. You can use any barbecue sauce that you like. This barbecue sauce that I'm using here is my husband's absolute favorite. Once covered with barbecue sauce, rotate over, and now coat the other side with more barbecue sauce. Now you're going to bake these for another five minutes, but this time at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Set your timer to five minutes. After five minutes in the oven at 375, you're going to take them out and brush more barbecue sauce on them. Flip over and coat the other side with more barbecue sauce. Place these back in the oven. Set your oven to a broiler setting. Set your timer for five minutes. After being in the broiler for five minutes, our bacon is really crispy. Now we're just gonna let them rest for 10 minutes and you're done. Here are the ingredients to make my mom's favorite chunky guacamole dip. Some avocados, an onion, some limes, some tomatoes, one jalapeno for a kick, cilantro, a pretty red bell pepper, and for seasoning, garlic salt, Tabasco, black pepper, salt, and garlic powder. Dice your tomatoes into thick chunks. Set aside in a large bowl. Roughly chuck some cilantro. Set aside in the same bowl. Roughly chop an onion. Set aside. Dice your deseeded jalapeno. Set aside. Roughly chop a red bell pepper that you've already deseeded. Place in your bowl. After deseeding your avocados, you're going to roughly chop them. They should look something like this. You don't want them too mushy. Add them to the mixing bowl. To our mixing bowl, we're going to add some salt, some garlic powder, some black pepper, some garlic salt, some Tabasco sauce, some freshly squeezed lime juice. Gently mix all of the ingredients. Remember, we don't want it to be too mushy. Almost like you're tossing a salad and you're done. Here we have our finished chicken poppers along with my mom's favorite chunky guacamole dip. Let's try it. Mmm, is that tan rico? I'm really good. It's just how my dad used to make it. This is why my dad used to call them chicken poppers. I feel like this is turning into a mukbang. This is why I need my husband here to taste food. My favorite chips of all time are blue corn chips for the Super Bowl. I just think they go great with the colors. Obviously food makes me happy. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more recipes and join the Fusion fam. Suerte!